There's no doubt about it, fall is in the air. Whether you're a pumpkin spice enthusiast or a Halloween fanatic, fall always seems to have fun and memorable family and friend activities. I've grown up around several local farms and orchards, and I'll never forget taking weekend trips to these locations with my family for afternoons filled with apple and pumpkin picking. So let's kick off fall by making a short promo video for a town farm. And here's the challenge, we're just using stock footage to create this promo. I'm imagining this video would be displayed front and center on the farm's website or on a social media page. Because of this, I'm aiming to keep the promo around a minute long. As a quick side note, all my stock footage today comes from Envato Elements. So where do we even begin? Well, first let's outline a rough basic sequence of our promo and figure out which stock footage we're going to be using. And then we'll come back and add motion graphics and visual effects. I use this outline as a guide to choose footage with similar scenery and even people. It's also worth mentioning that I loosely divided the video up into six parts. So we'll kick this promo off with an establishing shot of the farm using drone footage I found. Then we'll cut to grassy farmland and maybe some folks looking out into the sunrise with the text 35 years of family tradition. I'm imagining that these could be the owners of the farm and maybe throw in a few animal buddies in there too, just for good measure and extra cuteness. Then we'll cut to some fall foliage or flowers with the text, this fall, join us for. And after we'll cut to a fast paced sequence of all the activities you can do at this farm, like apple and pumpkin picking, cut your own flowers and a scenic hayride. Next, we'll have a shot of the stand where we're gonna be showcasing all of our delicious fall treats and artisan goods. And we'll add some text that encourages the purchase of these goods, like apple cider, pumpkin spice pastries, maybe some pies or even honey. And finally, we'll wrap up with a couple more inspirational shots of the farmland and visitors and cut to the outro sequence where we'll have some motion graphics display the name, location, and some info about our farm. So that was a mouthful, but now we have a clearer direction and not just ideas floating in the air. The second task is to color correct our footage, keeping a consistent, welcoming, warm tone and a saturation that helps the visuals pop. And now to finalize the structure and flow of the promo, let's also pick out some music to play during the video. I'm doing this early on because in your edit, it really makes all the difference. I'd go as far as even advising to pick out your music before you even assemble the footage. It really depends on your project. Let's grab a nice countryside sounding, relaxing musical piece so we can sync up our cuts and edits to the music as best we can. We still don't have the text and motion graphics I was envisioning, so let's do some experimenting. I've imported some of my footage into After Effects to animate the text. First, I'll start with the shot of the family and add in 35 years of family tradition in a rustic font that's arranged in a fun orientation to designate the legacy part of the video I touched upon earlier. To give the text some life and visual interest, we can animate the text to subtly come together, and I can place my keyframes before the shot of the family even starts, so that the text would already be in motion. Next, for the farm activities section, let's add in the text join us this fall for, and then after will come the compilation of the farm activities. After playing around a bit, I wasn't too thrilled of the layout of the text. It gave me pretty heavy Last of Us vibes, which is a zombie apocalypse video game and TV show. So definitely didn't want to evoke that tone for our family friendly farm. So after some realignment, our text is still pretty hard to read, so let's add a blur and exposure adjustment layer and mask it out so that it only affects the background behind the text. Then adding a variety of shadows will help further increase legibility. And we'll quickly rinse and repeat a similar method of animating the text so it's coming together as the video cuts to this beautiful sunflower field. After the farm's activities comes our artisan goods section. The only two shots so far that we incorporated text in was, for the most part, static with no major camera movement. However, this next shot we'll be working with has some very clear camera movement going to the left. Instead of having static text with a slight animation, why don't we get a little fancier and track this text into the scene so that it moves with the camera as if it was filmed in real life. To do that, all we need to do is hit the track camera button in the tracker panel in After Effects, and then wait for an eternity for it to analyze our footage. And there we go. We have all these tracking points to work with. Let's go ahead and pick one a little further back on the fruit stand and drop in the text indulge. I'll copy indulge and tint it with a dark red color and lower its opacity to give the illusion of the text casting a shadow. I also applied the same 3D tracker to a shape layer which I used as a track mat to hide part of the text behind some of the fruit. 
At this stage in the game, let's take a brief intermission and add some more interest to our footage to give it that cinematic look. I'll add top and bottom black bars to really sell that official looking cherry on top. But after a quick rewatch, I'm not too thrilled about the text options I went with. I felt that the wording I chose was a bit empty and didn't help introduce our sections as effectively as I wanted. So let's go back and change both shots that set up our activities and artisan goods section to join us for fall favorites. This slight change I thought helped the following compilation of activities feel more smooth and more in place. Then I changed just indulge to indulge in fresh treats to hammer home the idea of fresh, something I think we can all agree is a good thing. To indicate that our promo was wrapping up, I'm going to use some of the same 3D trickery from earlier and track in text that indicates when this farm is open until. I quickly did a Google search to get a sense of when these farms usually closed, and it seemed like the days following Halloween was when farm experiences closed for the winter. I'll put open now until November 3rd. We'll add in the same blur and exposure adjustment layer from earlier to make the text more legible, and I'll use another 3D track mat to hide part of the text behind the corn stalk. And for the final part of creating this promo, let's work on our outro, which will contain the logo for the farm and information about the days and hours of operation. We'll crossfade the last clip from our wrap up inspirational footage section to another aerial drone shot of the farm. Then we'll make room for our incoming logo and text by blurring the background. And we still actually need a logo for this farm, so let's quickly jump into Illustrator. We'll use a simple but fun font to write the name of the farm. I did some research to make sure that the name we picked didn't actually exist and I decided to go with Radwood Town Farm. I'll also include its founding year. Jumping back into After Effects, I found this 3D model of a leaf, and what I imagined I can do is use it to reveal the logo. I'll use the puppet warp effect to bend the leaf into a desirable shape, and then adjust the position and rotation, and play with the speed graph to simulate a leaf blowing in the wind. I think the motion blur here really sells the effect. I'll use a copy of the leaf in a shape layer to create another track mat to reveal the logo. And I'll add in some shadows and a subtle highlight coming from behind to make the text stand out more. The last thing to do is animate a rounded rectangle into the shot to act as a container for the days and hours of operation text. Using a copy of the rounded rectangle as yet another track mat, we can make the text animate into the container. And after a few adjustments to the days of operation and the sequence of the clips, we have our final product. Let's check out the promo video for Radwood Farms, made entirely with stock footage. <laughs> 